Now what we're going to do is we'll go to our index.js inside of the pages, which is basically nothing but our main page, the home page. Okay. And now uh, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and uh, import client that we have just created inside of the Apollo client. So we're exporting this client. We're just going to import it here. So let's import client from so components and then Apollo client.js. Of course, we don't need the client config here, so we can just get rid of that. We don't need the isomorphic unfetch because we are fetching it through the with the help of the uh, GraphQL now. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And then we're going to make some changes over here. So let's get rid of this because we want to fetch the data from the GraphQL. And uh, we need to create a query over here. Uh, so we can say, in fact, we also need the GQL to create the query from GraphQL tag. So if you just do npm and search what it does, it basically parses the GraphQL queries. Okay. So it says that GPL, uh, sorry, G, GQL is a JavaScript template literal tag that passes GraphQL query string into standard GraphQL AST, which is abstract syntax tree. Okay, so we're just going to use that to write our query. So we'll say graph, okay, this is basically the index documentation. We'll say const product query in capital letter product query because we want all the products and we'll write GQL and then we'll use backtick and we'll put query okay and then just opening tag and closing tag okay so what do we want basically so let's go to our GraphQL and see what are the options available in the playground so inside of the query okay we don't want the products we don't want the single product we want products which is this right here okay and we can see we have all of our data that we need inside of nodes right so we'll write let's get rid of this once again just write products okay and I want how many I want first 20 let's say okay and then curly braces so you can see inside of products we have what we need inside of nodes okay so let's go inside of nodes okay inside of nodes I need the ID product ID uh, then we want the average rating then we want the slug and then we want the description we also want the image so what do we have inside of the image we need more data details out of the image we want URL where is URL URI actually so U R I. So you can see how easy it is to just to grab the data that you need. You don't really need everything, because then it's going to increase the size of the data that it gets from the database. If you just need five things, why do I want to get everything? If you were using REST API, you had to get everything. But now you can see I'm getting only only the things that I need for my query. So I need U R I. I need title. I need uh, source set source URL and then after that I also need the product name right and I also need the price I think that's about it let's run the query and sure enough you can see that inside of products inside of notes you get all of the data product uh, you get the ID for this element you get the product ID average rating slug description all of that information and that's exactly what we need so what we can do is we can just copy the whole query 
and we can just paste it here okay of course it doesn't look good but we can fix that right so we got the query and now what will happen is uh, we just need to do that query here as well just use it here so what we'll do is we'll say const the result await client dot query so we'll call this method and inside of that what do we need we need the query and we'll just pass the product query okay so once it is resolved we just need to return the result that we've received so we'll just say result and we'll just name it as okay we need to return not result we'll just say return say um, products and then it will be okay first let's see what are we actually getting inside of this okay so inside of products um, you will have result so this is what we're passing here what do we have inside of result so inside of result we have products and then we have notes so we want the notes basically notes contain all of the data that we need so we'll say result dot products dot notes so this is the data that I'm passing to products and as we have already discussed in the previous tutorials that inside of the get initial props whatever you're going to return will be available as props to your component so once this is resolved once you do the client query and you do the product query which you've just created you're just passing this entire query over here as a query and then once it gets resolved it is going to give us all of the data once this query is fetched and then this data is going to get passed uh, to our component index as props so inside of props I should have the products available because that's the name we've given this products okay so let's console this out and let's say what we get in props okay I'm gonna go back to the site I will do um, a check. Is my server running? Let me have a look. Okay, it's building, compiling. Let's wait. Okay, first I'm going to comment out things are definitely going to break because it's expecting something else, but we are giving it something else. So let's just comment this out for now. We just need to check what do we get in props. Oh, the reason it's not working because we miss data over here. We directly put products, so we have to put data also. So inside of result, it's going to give me data, then products, then notes, and that's what we need to get. Okay, let's try this now. Fresh, automatically, and sure enough, bingo, you get all of the data. Isn't that brilliant? So you have the products. You can see you've got average rating, description, ID, image, name, price, product ID and slugs so it is giving us specifically the things that we need we don't really need everything from the products earlier when we were using rest api we had all of the data but now we don't we only get what we need and that's the beauty of graphql okay great so since we've got the data now and you must be wondering why we do we have this in console the reason for this is already been explained in previous tutorials the get initial props gets executed and called um, on the on the server side first and then on the client side that's why you see in the console okay great so let's just get rid of this props so, so we have this product inside of props we're just pulling the products out of the props so we have products okay and then what we need to do is just unconsole this sorry uh, uncommon this okay so we are passing the product which is looks great and then we're just looping through the um, each of the product and inside of this we have the product ID what we do need to change is the product dot images dot source because now we the data structure is slightly changed it's image actually not images so I we need the source URL yep source URL okay great now it should be working fine so let's refresh Awesome, we have everything working as expected, guys. Isn't that brilliant? 
So we've actually got the GraphQL integrated into our project. That's wonderful. Great. So GraphQL basically gives you a set of schemas that you can query from. And because of the plugins that we uh, have installed, the, the GraphQL plugins, the WP GraphQL plugin, uh, it is already doing that job for us. All we have to do is just query what we need. Okay. So depending, so you've got all of that data and just query what you, what you want. And you can always test it here first. Okay. Awesome. So um, just to recap what all we did. Uh, so basically, we moved from the idea of a using a REST API to a GraphQL. We installed and activated the three plugins first, which were, where is it gone? Yeah, which were the WP GraphQL, WP GraphQL, and WP GraphQL WooCommerce. So we installed and activated these three plugins. Then we went ahead and uh, changed the configuration, just added this GraphQL URL with slash GraphQL and the URL of your site. And then we created the component, which is Apollo client. We created the client using all of these packages uh, with the cache as well and to, to cache the query. And then what we did was we went ahead and installed all of these packages, of course. And uh, then we imported this client into our index.js and wrote this query and just uh, fetch the data from this query and then pass that data uh, in form of props to our component and then just use that data to loop through each item in the in the array and just display all of the products. Isn't that simple? Now you must be wondering that why did we not um, provide the uh, API key and secret like we did earlier? Of course the products are going to be displayed publicly. We don't need any validation or security for that. So we don't need to provide that. Uh, later on in future, when we are performing some private data uh, check, then in that case, we're going to go ahead and do some authentication as well. Uh, but for now, just for displaying the products, we don't really need to do any authentication. So, so basically, whatever you did in the server.js is not really required because GraphQL is going to get the query that we need. You don't need to create custom endpoints using Express. Uh, so it saves all the trouble. It saves all, all that for you. Okay. So you wouldn't even need the um, WooConfig example.js right now going forward. Okay. Great. Awesome. So I hope, guys, you did like the video. If you did, please give, give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you haven't already and um, I'm going to see you in the next video. Uh, a lot of you guys have been requesting how do I go uh, to a single page, how do I build cart, all of that will be coming soon for you and the reason why I included the GraphQL first is because that's the approach going to be going forward so you can see how easy that makes your job. Okay, so we're just going to use that and then build further. So. Uh, the most awaited thing is a single product page and we're going to build that in the next tutorial which will be coming very soon and then we're going to jump to the cart uh, building which is which is uh, one of the most key things for a uh, WooCommerce site. Okay, thank you very much guys. Take care. Bye-bye.